Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very uh, conceptual problem from uh, integrals, right? So in this lecture I uh, will solve this integral uh, that is minus infinity to infinity and the integrand is x square divided by x raised to 6 plus 1, right? So we'll uh, solve this integral by uh, making use of the properties of beta and gamma functions, right? So we, are, uh, we can also solve this integral by contour integration, but uh, we'll uh, take up that topic uh, very shortly, right? So let us solve this integral uh, by uh, first uh, using the method of substitution and then by uh, applying the uh, properties of beta and gamma functions, right? So let us take this integral as i, right? Now here uh, what we will do, uh, see here the limits of integration are from minus infinity to infinity, right? And the integrand is x square over x raised to 6 plus 1. So we can write this integral as 2 times uh, 0 to infinity and we have x square divided by x raised to 6 plus 1 dx right because here we have applied uh, a, an important property of uh, definite integrals which says that uh, if we have an integral uh, that is from minus a to a f of x dx then this can be written as two times the integral from 0 to a f of x dx uh, provided fx is an even function right so here uh, we, uh, we can see that fx is x square divided by x raised to 6 plus 1. So if we replace x by minus x, then we have f of minus x is equal to minus x square divided by minus x raised to 6 plus 1. So minus x square is simply x square minus x raised to 6 is x raised to 6 because here we have even powers and this is equal to f of x, right? So we see that f of minus x is equal to f of x. So fx is an even function, right? So this integral i can be written as 2 times uh, 0 to infinity x square over x raised to 6 plus 1 uh, dx. So now let us make use of the method of substitution, right? So here uh, what we will do, we'll take t is equal to x raised to uh, 6, right? So that x is equal to t raised to 1 over 6 and here uh, the limits of integration vary from 0 to infinity. So when x is 0, then t is 0 and when x is uh, infinity, that is when x tends to infinity then obviously a t also tends to infinity, right? So here x is equal to t raised to 1 by 6. Let us differentiate x with respect to t. So dx over dt is the derivative of t raised to 1 by 6. So we have 1 over 6, t raised to 1 by 6 minus 1. So this is 1 over 6 t raised to uh, minus 5 by 6, right? So here uh, we have used this result that is uh, the derivative of x raised to n is nx n minus 1, right? So now uh, dx can be written as 1 over 6 t raised to minus 5 by 6 and here we have dt, right? So now i can be written as uh, 2 times we have 0 to infinity, uh, t varies from 0 to infinity x square can be written as t raised to 2 by 6 and here we have in the denominator we have t plus 1 and dx is 1 by 6 uh, t raised to minus 5 by 6 and here we have uh, dt right so now let us uh, rearrange the terms so here we have 1 over 6 so we can now write 2 over 6, taking 1 over 6 outside the integral. We have 0 to infinity. And here we have t raised to 2 by 6. 
and uh, here t raised to minus 5 by 6 so here we have minus 5 by 6 and in the denominator we have simply uh, t plus 1 and here we have dt so this is 1 over 3 this is 2 3 is a 6 and we have 0 to infinity and uh, uh, this is t raised to 2 minus 5 is minus 3 and here we have 6 so this is minus half right so here we have t raised to minus half divided by t plus 1 and dt right so now to solve this integral uh, we can uh, rewrite this integral i as 1 over 3 we have 0 to infinity and t raised to minus half can be written as half minus 1 and t plus 1 right so here we can write 1 plus t raised to 1 right here the exponent is 1 and 1 can be written as half plus half right so that uh, half plus half becomes 1 and uh, t raised to minus 1 over 2 can be written as uh, half minus 1 right so why we have expressed this integral uh, like this because we uh, know the uh, rule for uh, that is gamma function that is beta mn is given by this integral that is 0 to infinity uh, x raised to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to m plus n right so here uh, this integral is now similar to uh, this one except the variable because the variable is a dummy variable and it is not going to make any difference right so now if we compare this integral with this one then this is the value of m m is half and n is equal to a half right so here are both the values of m and n are equal to half and half so now uh, this integral i becomes 1 by 3 times beta m n m is half n is half so we have beta half and beta, uh, beta half comma half right so now we uh, know a relation between beta function and gamma function so beta m n is given by gamma of m gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n right so beta half comma half is equal to gamma of half here we have gamma of half divided by gamma of half plus half right and we know that the value of gamma half is equal to square root of pi so here we have a square root of pi here also we have a square root of pi divided by gamma of one half plus half is one and the value of gamma 1 is equal to 1 so root pi times root pi is equal to pi and gamma 1 is equal to 1 so this is equal to pi right so the value of beta half comma half is pi so here we have 1 over 3 times uh, pi right so the value of uh, beta half comma half is pi so now the value of i is given as pi by uh, 3 right so viewers this is how by making use of the concept of beta and gamma function uh, we can solve these kind of integrals easily right and moreover uh, here uh, we can also uh, solve these integrals by the method of contour integration uh, using the concept of residues and the Cauchy's uh, residue uh, formula right so we'll consider this uh, topic uh, very shortly